<laughs> but yeah, we're going to be getting right into it now. The nature of this matchup is quite weird. Um, I am feel like grenades are going to play a huge part, if not... Because would... Correct me if I'm wrong, would grenades block... Um, uh, sun salutation? Yes. They would. Grenades yeah, yeah. have a wicked amount of priority to where they will just absorb most energy-based projectiles and, and just explode. Like, I know they yeah. beat Shadow Ball, they beat War Sphere, they beat Sun Salutation, they just, they eat them all and, and blow up. And also, the uh, the soccer balls will get reflected. Right. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They'll, be, so, they'll be thrown off their trajectory. Oh, but, okay, so... Off stage might be where the uh, the bread and butter can happen for Luigi's, both, you know, for defensive purposes, like we were saw, seeing him just try to attempt, but also, you know, Snake's recovery, it's good, but it is exploitable, and as we saw just there, uh, definitely feels like Luigi's is, is going to be ready to exploit it when the opportunity arises. But look at this setups that are coming out from Coltland as far as the oh. excellent weaving, that was beautiful. Perfectly aware that Coltman couldn't throw out anything else. He was too busy guiding the the Nikita, so he had plenty of time to to float back to ledge. Dash attack as he climbs. Oh, Snake's intangible arms save him once more. This character's got some crazy buttons. Once again, going off stage. Uh, he should be able to recover from here, but now he's trapped at the ledge. No ledge invincibility? Uh, he, he got cut under, <laughs> caught under the stage. And the great thing about getting hit by his own C4 is I think that reset his ledge invincibility. I, th I, th I thought he did that on purpose. I thought he specifically went under the stage so that when he did the C4, he wouldn't die so that he could tech it so that he could get his invincibility back. I thought, that's what, it, I, I thought that was 100% conscious on his part. If it was, like, he's looking... He's much smarter than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, we're commentators. By default, he's smarter than us. This is true. This is true. <laughs> um... But the question is whether he's smarter than Louis Jesus, because Louis Jesus is still looking really good here. The forward throw gonna close out that stock and a fully charged sun in the bank too. 26% once it connects. That's not quite it for guaranteed just yet, yeah. Uh, we fit thin we fit's lying animation thin enough to not get caught by down throw F tilt. The only thing that's true on her is a down throw up tilt or, you know, neutral tech into up tilt. It's a true combo too. As a, as Christmas has once told me or once uh, once jested, uh, neutral tech or spot dodge, they're just the charging animation for up tilt. Breathing is so threatening, especially with the stock behind. Snake can't play the way he usually does, which is thriving off of all these trades. Now he has to be very conscious about what explosions hit him. Thank you, Pudge, for the follow. He had that great parry, but the grenade actually kind of screwed him over. Even now, Luigi is still alive. That Nikita connecting, he's... Still in it. Okay, that one. Yeah, he's, he's done for that one. And, they, and so they do have even stock counts. Um, definitely, I would not call this an even game just yet. But uh, Snake has amazing damage output. And technically speaking, he has a path to victory here. It just means that he has to be super careful not to get hit by any of those damaging kill moves from Wii Fit Trainer. Especially when she actually gets deep breathing online. The tech? The tech. He's caught on the stage again, though, and did not have C4 this time. I, I don't even think it would have allowed him to tech being at 170 and hit by C4. Like, uh, would yeah. he have died off the top? He would have died off the top, right? He would have died off the top, yeah. yeah 176? Even at the bottom of the stage, he would have died off the top? Yeah, he would have died I, off the top. I, I think he would have died off the top. 189? Yeah, he would have died off the top. <laughs> he would have died off the top. Yeah, it's a rough All right, one. so now we're... We're a rough one to beat. Yeah, so we're going to be moving into game two. Uh, let, yeah, this game started off so, so strong for Louis Jesus. Um... <laughs> And what, it reminds me of how, you know, before we were seeing X versus Sonic Fiend, whoever took that first stock ended up 
sort of just winning the game. Uh, and although this, I wouldn't call this quite as polarized as, you know, just like a matchup with Sonic, I do think that there is still a lot of elements to that. You know, Snake, not necessarily the character with the best approach options in the world. You could probably say the same about uh, Wii Fit Trainer as well. So one, if one of these players manages to get a huge either percent lead or a straight up stock lead, that sets the tone, the pace for the rest of the game. And the, with an early deep breathing and a, against an exploitable snake once he's put in disadvantage, like, this damage can rack up so fast on, on top of any and all trades. Like, it's 125 to 38 is barely how you're going to look at on that platform. I'm not sure if he's aware of it. C4's right there, bro. Okay. He's oh, just making sure Snake is never even oh, allowed to pull out his detonator. He's always just caught by this lifer. Poked, and his was, hands are taken out by it. Yeah, no, those, uh... <laughs> that was such a beautifully placed soccer ball. And just like that, this is a full stock lead. For a second there, I believe, actually, uh, I think got, got lapped. He almost, now he has, now he officially has. It was by 0.1% he had at that moment. Man, it, the floodgates are certainly open and the snipes. <laughs> the, the medicine ball placement from Louis Jesus is just so good right now. Medicine ball's a new one. It's, technically, that's what it is. I think, it is? Right? Oh, okay. I thought, it, I just kept I, calling it a soccer ball or a I always ball. did too. Um, maybe it's based on the skin. Oh, could be. The I mystery of, uh, Listen, when, when, when's the last time you saw a soccer ball in a gym? I don't know if a medicine ball bounces like that. <laughs> uh, if you hit it hard enough, it does. I mean, look at her. She's, uh, she's, a, she's you been working out. Tilt, you think that forward tilt wouldn't send a medicine ball careening 150 feet? I, I feel like if it was a medicine ball, it would be doing, like, 90 damage. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Speaking of 90 damage, that was a quick 3-0 in terms of uh, stock counts. Yeah, it was just, I mean, what was it, 15, 25% over 90 when he, uh, a little bit more than that, but you get the idea, barely 30% over 90 when he took that final stock. Like, it was right from the beginning, once this stock was taken, even before then, that initial push that came out from Louis Jesus, put Coltman on the back foot and he could never reset and plant his feet again because he always felt like he had to fish for kills like that turn around like, yeah. wait for up tilts uh, like look for platform tech chases try his best in every opportunity but Louis Jesus was having none of it yeah so as we move into game three Coltman needs to like that the beginning of this game is so important for him it's it, i think that that is cemented at this point both in our minds and in his he he realized that the beginning is so important that he's just gonna throw it all away Louis Jesus is giving is this, this is this the ultimate mind game he I takes game two. Oh, <laughs> game, game three game three game goes three. to Coltman not a 3-0 <laughs> yeah it was last stock there for a second, but... Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I wonder... wonder why not Smashville. I mean, I, I would Oh, maybe think... it was a character switch. Do you think that would ever happen? I am uncertain. It's plausible. Because I did just see him deselect from the arena. Yeah, character switch! Oh, this Dr. Is... Mario! This is the same Coltman. No, 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 no. We've seen this doc before. There was... What was it? It was the week that John Numbers won... Uh, one Xeno Wi-Fi, and against Zeno, against Louis Jesus, down 2-0, Coltman pulled out a dock on Smashville and won that game. Lost the following, but he won this game on this well, stage in this situation. Sudden, history has revealed itself. Uh, and let's see if it will repeat itself as well, because immediately it's, he's looking much better. I don't think that part of it could be matchup experience. A lot of players just know how to deal with Snake at this point. How many people do you know really, really know how to deal with Dr. Mario? It's, it's been a trouble that even from players from the highest of highs and low and still lows have been trying to figure out with players like Mabel showing off what the doc can do. 
in a, at least an online environment, but with what Mabel has been showing and what this character He's still dead. has. He died. I think I was. I think he probably could have DI'd that a little bit better. Remember that Doctor Mario's um, up smash? It has that weird like sends you to the side angle. Yeah, it, it sends you like at a 45 degree angle, which it's is like not very good. But, yeah. It's like a forward smash that hits above him. Still He's a weird though. dude, all right. Yeah. He he went he went to med school. He doesn't have he didn't he didn't take physics. Are you, you kidding me? I took biology. <laughs> Ooh, there's a cute little wave bounce with the uh, the pellet right there. Okay, he's swinging. He was looking for a very specific read, but you know, when you you're at 140, you can afford those kind of risks. Yeah, I will say I think that maybe some match unfamiliarity is coming into play here because you saw how Luigi just would very comfortably go off stage and uh, challenge Coltman's snake. And yet, Dr. Mario, a character who can be a little bit scary off stage, but definitely has one of, if not the weakest recoveries in the game. Um, and he's kind of just letting him come back to the ledge. It's, I guess I, I can understand the hesitation because while his recovery paths are linear and his upbeat goes basically nowhere in terms of distance, cool. he does have plenty of damage for sure. And also, all of these are hitboxes, and those hitboxes can be a little bit awkward to challenge with Wii Fit's awkward uh, toolset. Yeah, yeah. Wii Fit Trim does not have a lot of disjoints. Pretty much what you see is what you get. When she sticks her, you know, hands out for that forward air, usually the hitbox is connected to it. So, you know, even getting, like, for instance, going off stage and getting hit by a dock down B. Um, okay. Okay. Up smash. up smash. That's huge. That's huge. 45% is, is basically nothing, especially with the star KO and the, and the free deep breathing. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is so scary. Oh, what? He, he doesn't gone? have a jump. <laughs> I don't think a jump even would have saved him there. That was... He went... He exploded. All right. The Dr. Mario counterpick 100% being the right call there. Um, according to history, though, according to the history books... Uh, this is what we saw before, where he went down and then switched to Doc, but couldn't close out the set. So let's see if maybe he's learned, Coltman has learned a little bit more, gotten a little bit better with the character, because he does have to win two more games, most likely with the Dr. Mario, because I, I, I don't think, even if he goes to a different stage, I don't think he should switch back to the snake. The snake just was not performing like the way this Doc was. Yeah, getting three stocks as a character, like, not only does it incite you to switch, you then won the game on your counter pick. Yeah. <laughs> Why would Pretty you ever consider? Definitely too. Yeah. Yeah, like... I mean, the only reason why you might consider is it could be that matchup unfamiliarity and the surprise factor will give you a bit of a boost, but then that might evaporate. You know, you could be worried about that. Um, you know, like, sometimes you pick a character and the person is just like, w what? What? Who's Bowser Jr.? And, but then, like, you kind of know that by game two, they'll figure out who Bowser Jr. is. Yeah, it's always the the secondary problem, especially in a best of five situation. Like character switch from Luke now. Okay. No, 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 that would be. Well, yeah. Would pull out the the Luigi again? Like I don't. I'd know. pull out the the any sword character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would just be cruel. Hmm. Just be like, I finally Dr. figured out. What? No, no, just go ahead, go ahead. Oh no, 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 yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's get actually get into this game four proper. As uh, we do have a different stage here this time, uh, being PS2. Let's see how the doc adjusts to being on this different stage. Uh, already, you can see that Luigi's just much more patient this time around, with a longer, uh, you know, with a longer platform to work with. Uh, he's able to sort of run away, throw projectiles, be more patient, just shield these pellets when they come his way, and just, yeah, he's getting his resources in order. And uh, for the most part, yeah, Coltman hasn't been able to get that much started. Yeah, while a lot of the things that Mario or Dr. Mario has, Mario has as well, sharing a mostly the same loose kit with a couple of key differences. 
And while those differences can create a equal, but relative, an equally strong game plan on a stage like Smashville being a lot smaller and a lot more interaction heavy, on a stage like PS2, you lose Mario's biggest X factor, which is the ladder combos on these platforms. Mario no longer, Dr. Mario, no longer has that touch of death potential. So all you see it for then is a wide biplat, which can be hard to catch Wii Fit on. And not only that, not only does he lose those ladder combos, but also to having a bigger stage, you start to notice the terrible, terrible movement that uh, Dr. Mario has. It's a lot harder for him to get from point A to point B to navigate around these platforms. And, oh, you know, as we're decrying how, oh, Dr. Mario is so bad on this stage, uh, this is even. This is totally even right now. Yeah. The next hit will kill from either one. Granted, Luigi just manages to find it, being a little bit too happy on those up smashes. But, you know, one solid hit from uh, Coltman, and it'll be even once more. It's about finding th those hits, though. And with the damage that Luigi's have been proven to rack up, like, gra oh, okay. I can't believe he shielded in front of Dr. Mario so long. Do you think maybe a pummel or two would have helped him there? Maybe he, he did. Uh, Luigi's had been healing a little bit thanks to the sun salutation. A quick pummel or two might have been enough. Not gonna trade with the uppy though. Uh, Coltman is gonna be have so reliant on these pills just to maintain neutral. Yet the floodgates are slowly starting to open. All right, yeah, and starting to pick up on the the panic shielding. Uh, he still holds on to his jump, so I think he should be able to make it back. He does beautiful air dodge and the upbeat in order to i believe that was the upbeat in order to uh, intercept that recovery the stocks are even but the percentage certainly isn't right now and louis jesus is once again comfortably looking in control in addition to having deep breathing so next hit might kill him the funny thing about dr mario though is while these percents are super high he's got a couple of really clutch kill confirms that only make that rage only makes them better and while Mario may have his forward air spike, a down air spike like Doc's might, is a little better suited to challenging Wii Fit off stage. That's of course implying that he can get Luigi's in a situation like that. And man, he seems like he's perfectly content to let the percents rack up higher and higher as long as it means not interacting with this doctor. Yeah, I will also say that Dr. Mario's back throw is a kill confirm unto itself. That's, that's true. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, like, like pretty soon, back throughout the ledge will kill. Like, <laughs> did you see how far that sent him? Oh! Okay, he's trapped at the ledge. That's safe on shield when you get the uh, electric part of it. But managing to actually connect that. Now, ah, this is possibly Coltman's, uh, his winner's stock at the very least. Could have been his undoing. Good way to catch the DI in there, going for the down throw. And we're make sure he gets 27. It feels like every time we start to count Coltman out, he pulls off a, a very, very clutch trick, like landing with that back air and stalling just a little bit to get back in this game. Oh, the forward smash just barely not reaching. That absolutely would have taken the stock if it had connected. But as it stands, he's now just getting rinse repeated, thrown off stage over and over again, taking 83% in the process. He needs to take the stock from Luigi's just immediately, and then, oh, almost did it right there, but this is getting harder and harder for a, uh, a path to victory. Luigi's just seems in control now, has figured out what he needs to do against this doctor. And he's getting hungry for the kill himself. Yeah, now he's Every time he gets hit, it just gets scarier and scarier because that means that then, like, when Dr. Mario gets put off stage, it's it's a it is a clench fest. Um, a chance, um, an opportunity. Yeah. If you had one shot, one opportunity. Mom spaghetti. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's all we, anyone remembers of that song. That's not true. It okay. isn't. And, no, it isn't. Well, hold it on isn't. a second. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show, uh, show my age. How, how old were you when, it, when, uh, when that song came out? I don't remember when that song came out, so I will have to check. All right. I so know I was alive. <laughs> oh yeah. No, it's because uh, I was talking with somebody about this recently. 
very specifically about mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> in Lose Yourself. And ha uh, and I was I was arguing that, like, oh, no, that song has a lot more of a legacy than just mom's spaghetti. And they insisted that that was the only legacy left of that song. Oh, no. Like, I, I mean, I was four when it came out, but I heard it as Lose Yourself before I heard it as mom's spaghetti. So I, I just... Well, I even... was joking, but it was like, the, it's it's a legitimately good. It is a good song. I do like a lot of uh, that era Eminem, personally. Though that I don't know what that quite says about me.